this next part is kind of hard, <laughs> unfortunately. All right. Um, so he talks then in paragraph five about these three forms of separation. In order of increasing separation, they are discrimination, abstraction or precision, and dissociation. He says, and I'm just going to sum this up. I'm not going to go through the <coughs> his exact words here because I'm ju I just want to try and get the concepts uh, clear. Discrimination between two things is the drawing of a distinction in meaning between the two terms. Okay, it, okay. I'm just going to go through this, these basic definitions, and we're going to go through examples. Abstraction is to pay attention to one thing while neglecting the other thing. All right. So that's the the, the next step, right? in um, increasing separation. And then the, the, the most separation, dissociation of two things, is the consciousness of one thing without the necessary consciousness of the other thing. All right, this is all confusing, I think, right? But we're gonna, I got this chart <laughs> that I made, all right? He gave, he gave us some examples. He gave us examples of, of red and blue and space and color, right? So, if you, if you think this through, Discriminate means to separate the meaning of two things, and you can do it most easily. So you can, you can separate red from blue. You can, you can understand there's red, and then you can understand there's blue, and you can discriminate the meanings of those two things. Right? You can also discriminate the meaning of space from the meaning of color. You can say, oh, there's space and there's color, and we can understand there's a difference in meaning. Right? And we can sort of discriminate those meanings. You can also do that color from space. There's color. And there's space, it's just the same thing. We can discriminate, we can say, okay, that's color and that's space, and we can understand those are two different meanings. Red, you can't discrimi discriminate red from color, though. When you say red, you can't, like, separate the meaning of red from the meaning of color, because red is a color, obviously, right? So you can't discriminate red from color, right? Because whenever you, th whenever you think red, y if you get rid of color, y you don't have red anymore, right? Okay? And so you can't discriminate red from color. But you can discriminate all of these other things because you could, all it is, you're, you're just sort of, you're, you're separating the meaning of one from the meaning of the other in your mind, right? That those have two different meanings, okay? So that, that should kind of make sense, right? On the other side, dissociation is about having the consciousness of one thing without the consciousness of the other. So you can, have, obviously you can have a consciousness of red without having consciousness of blue, right? There's red, forget about blue, there's no blue, there's just red, right? We can just, blue doesn't exist, we can just have red, no problem, right? Dissociation. You can't do that with space and color, though. You have space, you have a consciousness of space, you do also have to have some kind of consciousness of color, right? Because space is gonna have, even if it's just colorless, it'll, it'll still have a color, right? So you can't dissociate, you can't, have a consciousness of space without also having a consciousness of color. Other way around too. If you, if you have color, you focusing on the color, you can't have a consciousness of color without also having a consciousness of space. Same goes with red and color. Obviously, you know, if you have consciousness of red, you're gonna have a consciousness of color, okay? So that's dissociation. In the middle, we have this thing called prescinding, precision or abstraction, which is this middle thing <coughs> it's kind of tricky. What it is, is you're focusing on one thing while neglecting the other thing. Like just kind of ignoring the other thing. And so you can do that with red and blue. You can say, okay, there's red and I can ignore blue while I'm focusing on red. No problem, right? Now here's where it gets tricky. You can prescind space from color. Which is say you can focus on the space and just neglect color. Just ignore color for a while while you're just focusing on space. And you can do that. And he says he, his example is, I can imagine that this space between me and the wall is colorless, right? And I'm just, but I, obviously I know there's a space there, but I can just ignore the aspect of color, right? And that's what he's saying that's possible to do. But on the other hand, you can't do it the other way you can't prescind color from space. So if you have, if you're focusing on th the quality of color, you can't neglect space. Because if there's color somewhere, there's obviously, it's gonna be in space somewhere, right? So you can't, you can't ignore the aspect of space when you're focusing on color. You can't do it, right? You have to, 
there's, if there's color, there's gonna, it's going to be in a space somewhere, right? And so you can't ignore the aspect of space when you're looking at color, even though you can do it the other way around. You can ignore the aspect of color while focusing on space, right? And so that's what he's calling precision. And obviously, red from color, you know, you, 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 know, you focus on red, you, you can't ignore the aspect of color, right? That's, 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 that's clear. It's already, it's already in discrimination. You can't discriminate, right? But it's, this, it's these two that are key for him, right? Because it's possible to present space from color, right? So which is to say you, you focus on space and ignore color for that moment, even though you know that space does have a color, but you can ignore that for, for, for you know, a short period of time. But it's not po possible to pristine color from space, right? You're looking at color, you're focusing on the, on the idea of color, you can't neglect the aspect of space, right? So this <coughs> gives him this um, concept of precision or prescinding. Uh, and I just went through this example right now, right? It's possible to think about space while neglecting color, but at the same time, it's not possible to think about color while neglecting space, right? Um, and, <coughs> and what I'm going to do now, and I guess, well, maybe I'll have to save it for next time, <laughs> okay? Because Th the next step is to understand what this idea of prescinding has to do with this, these conceptions that link the manifold to unity. Right, and so, <coughs> and what he's saying, he's going to say, I'll go through it next time, but just, just to give you a, a preview for a moment, um, it's, it's this movement from one to the next that's going to give him the tools, the methodology for him to figure out what each conception is, right? Because this is essentially going to be the warrant, in a sense, for his later analysis that will give us the conceptions, right? Okay, but we'll, we'll go through that next time. So keep reading um, that next section because we'll try and cover the, the rest of this lecture and then the, and the, and the, the lecture on conceptions for next time. Thank you.